Welcome to a new update. I plotted the larger seismic activity since the 19th on the SSGI graph and we see the typical clustering on the 20th and 21st. That was actually the largest seismic activity with a magnitude 6.8 deep below Argentina. And also on the 24th, following the first lunar peak relative to the critical planetary geometry, including a magnitude 6.4 aftershock. We are moving towards the second lunar peak, that is on the 26th. This is relative to the critical planetary geometry from the 19th to the 22nd, and sometimes we see the largest seismic activity with the second lunar peak, and that would be uh, around the 26th, maybe later today already, and it's a possibility. We are talking about potential here, we don't know for sure if it's going to happen. Going by the latest atmospheric fluctuations, they seem to mark the West Pacific, and as you can see, I marked multiple parts. This is because the fluctuation that we had lasted for several hours, and if that happens, we cannot isolate a specific part. So this is not really very helpful, I realize that, but this is all that we have, and we cannot do better than this. To the best of my ability, I marked some regions, but the West Pacific in general is a bit in the crosshairs, that is not really unusual, I also realize that. And the other part is on the East Pacific that had atmospheric fluctuations since the 15th, 16th. I discussed them in detail in previous updates. The latest fluctuations, it's still ongoing, the latest fluctuations are from the 21st, 22nd, and they mark the region just north of the Gulf of California. Interestingly, this morning, a magnitude 4.2 occurred just off the coast of Southern California. And the fluctuations on the 21st, 22nd, they went right over that area. It's very interesting. And going by these fluctuations, and if you take into account about six days, there could be larger seismic activity in or near that region up until 27, 28 January. This is a possibility. I also would like to go back to the 18th, when we had a fluctuation over parts of Asia, from Lake Baikal in the north down to the Indian Ocean. That would mark the 24th, roughly, as a possible date, up to the 24th, that is, for increased seismic activity in or near that purple band. Interestingly, <clears throat> yesterday a magnitude 5.6 occurred in Nepal, which is a little bit to the west, but close enough. If we look at the planetary geometry, today, later today, we have Mercury, Sun, Jupiter in a conjunction. That's the only planetary conjunction that we have in the coming days. So the focus is on the lunar peak that is later today, tomorrow in particular. And we could see larger seismic activity because of the planetary geometry that we had from the 19th to the 22nd. Whether or not it's going to happen, that remains to be seen. Again. Fluctuations seem to mark the West Pacific, it's not really helpful, and also some fluctuations continued up until the 22nd, uh, marking the region near the Gulf of California, in particular uh, a little bit to the north. This is what we have so far, I will keep you updated, be safe everyone, until next time. <laughs>